A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Tuesday, May 31st. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Ulster County Executive Patrick Ryan had some resounding words as he reflected on the meaning of Memorial Day. Ryan is a West Point graduate who commanded troops in the Middle East, and he knows the meaning of sacrifice. The spirit of those who were, including many of my friends, willing to give their life and those who ultimately made that sacrifice, our country so desperately needs that spirit of selflessness, of courage, of unity, and this is, especially at the moment we're in right now, we just need every American to take a moment this weekend from the barbecues and the celebrations, which we have to do, but channel that spirit, spread that spirit of unity. Ryan said America must continue to work on our democracy. George Habernig, the Grand Marshal of Kingston's Memorial Day Parade, celebrates his 103rd birthday tomorrow. The Newburgh native served in the Pacific Theater during World War II. He joined dozens of veterans and Kingston residents on Monday to honor the memories of those who fought and died for America. Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado of Rhinebeck is the grandson of a World War II veteran. My grandfather made it back home, but a lot of our service members throughout history obviously did not. And that's what Memorial Day is about. It's about honoring their ultimate sacrifice. Mayor Stephen Noble declared Grand Marshal Habernig mayor for the day, as he told the current mayor that he has a lot of energy left to tackle daily issues like filling the city's potholes. Dozens of people attended a Memorial Day service at the Dutchess County War Memorial in Arlington on Monday. U.S. Navy Lieutenant Ensign Jatin Kona was the guest speaker at the solemn remembrance. Kona is assigned to the USS Roosevelt, the adopted ship of Dutchess County. The ship is named after Franklin D. Roosevelt and First Lady Eleanor. The ship's crew of 380 sailors, Kona said, considers the destroyer to be an arsenal of democracy. The U.S. Naval Academy graduate told the attendees, the world will continue to be presented with challenges every day, both at home and abroad, which requires a strong military to address. In addition to Kona, County Executive Mark Molinaro, State Senator Sue Serino, and County Veterans Affairs Director Adam Roche all spoke of the importance of remembering the fallen servicemen and women and the need to honor their sacrifice by being better people. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Police are investigating an incident that involved several shots being fired in a busy Poughkeepsie City Park on Sunday. Officers were searching for two suspects. City of Poughkeepsie police responded to the area of King Street and Innes Avenue around 6.30 for a report of those shots fired. Sources said that two black men were observed running from the area moments after the shots were fired. Radio traffic indicated that arriving officers observed the potential subjects and attempted to stop them. The two men refused to comply and a foot pursuit ensued. Additional units from the town of Poughkeepsie Police and the Dutchish Sheriff's Office responded. Several 9mm shell casings were located on the sidewalk between the street and a basketball court on King Street where several people were playing basketball. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.